Yo what up boys, in today's video I'm going to try my best to teach you how to actually vent hop very consistently and also how to do the window to cat jump very consistently, so without further yapping, let's get straight into it. Alright, so I highly recommend loading up a practice game on Mirage and then just copy pasting all the shit I put in the description and that's going to kick all the bots for you and give you unlimited round time and unlimited money so you can actually practice these jumps. Alright, so the first thing that I want to talk about is vent hopping. So instead of walking through the vent crouched like this, which is very slow and can get you killed a lot of these times because you'll be peeking at the same time with the opposing mid player, you can actually run up, crouch and b hop through the vent, which will look something like this if you do it successfully. And that way you can get to mid much faster and if you hit one b hop after the vent hop, you'll be watching mid faster than your opponent every single time you go for this. Are you tired of your old boring counter strike skins? If so, then you should check out C's Go Luck. It's one of the fastest growing sites right now and they provide a bunch of fun game modes like solo case openings, case battles against real players or bots and many more. By using the link in the description and my promo code CAPXO, you'll be getting 3 cases for absolutely free. Alongside free daily cases that get progressively better, C's Go Luck offers a ton of convenient deposit methods and their withdrawal page is absolutely stacked. With with high tier skins that can be withdrawn in an instant. To pull this off, I highly recommend you go bind jump to either mouse wheel down or mouse wheel up because this helps a ton. The easiest way to practice this is probably from just right in front of it. But as you get better, you sort of want to learn how to do it if you get this spawn and then just run up like this because then you can, you don't have to line yourself up. You can just jump, jump through it and then you're straight up in mid and you can kill the enemy type shit. Um, but yeah, to start out, you can just start right here and you basically want to run up and then you want to jump like about here, like slightly before this ledge. You want to jump and then you want to hold crouch the entire way. And then as you're, as you're, as you're landing, you want to scroll your mouse wheel. And ideally, you're going to hit a B hop, which will boost you through. Um, when starting to learn this, you're probably not going to get it the first time and not the first few times. But once you get the hang of it, it actually becomes very consistent. So it will look something like this. I'll show you again. You run, you jump at about here. Then you're going to hold crouch all the way and just scroll down on your wheel as you land. You see there, I jumped way too early. That was the right timing. I didn't get the B hop, but I still went through much faster, which is still fast enough to give you enough time to actually like peak mid before your opponent. Once you get it down like this, like right in front of it, you want to work on um, on getting it down from I'd say this angle at first, because let's say round starts, you're buying an orb, you wanna you wanna go mid, you're you're telling your teammate, yo, I'm playing jungle, I'm orping mid. You wanna run when the round starts. Ideally, you or your teammate are shooting this open with your pistol. And then you want to kind of hug this wall. You don't want to be too close, but also not very far away. You want to be like right here. And you're going to keep running until you get to round about this line. Then you're going to look diagonally like this, roughly. And you're going to walk up like this. And obviously you're not facing the hole by then. So if you're going to jump, you need to strafe. So you're actually facing the vent and you're like in the middle of the vent. And then it's just the same thing as before. So you're scrolling your mouse wheel, you're hitting your jumps to, to get a boost through the thing. So I'm going to be running. When I hit this line, I'm going to look diagonally. And then when I when I get to about this point, right here, I'm gonna jump and I'm gonna strafe. And if you do it successfully, it's gonna look something like this. I so right there I only got one hop, which is still enough to like get to mid first and actually hold the angle. If you get one more B hop after it, like I said before, you're going to have a lot of time to actually like line up your off shot before. It comes. Obviously, you can also do this from different angles. Let's say you're a B market player and you're opping apps like this. You're holding op, and then all of a sudden your mid player, your jungle player dies and you quickly want to rotate because you still have someone on B. You want to rotate to mid so you can get mid control again. You kind of want to position yourself like this so that you're walking like this and you want to look at these cinder blocks like on this side right here. You just want to keep your crosshair like right there. You want to walk and then once you get to like this point right here where this uh, black little slit is, I don't know. You want to jump and then strafe again so that you're in the middle of this vent like we talked about before. You want to scroll your jump wheel and it's going to push you through and ideally you get another V-hop off of it. Same thing as we just talked about before. So I'll show you one successful try right here. And it's also very consistent, like once you get the hang of it, it's very consistent. You can do it from a lot of different angles. If you want to be Zun, you can also do it from up here, for example, and you get pushed through the same way. Of course, you can also do it from this block, which is a bit more difficult because you kind of have to hit an aggressive strafe, but I got it the same way there, and it's still very easy. Of course, you can also do it from this side. Let's say you're killing one in mid, and then your teammate calls out that it's B and you want to rotate fast. So just hug the wall right here, just hug this wall right here like this. 
and then as you're walking up and you're coming around the corner just jump and then drive into it so that you're in the middle of the hole and then just scroll your wheel again same thing as before and that's basically how to vent hop so let's move on to another jump all right the next jump that i want to talk about is window to cab and also window to bricks right here and you can get up into this ladder room this is actually very easy vent hopping is by far the most difficult jump in this video i think um yeah this is very easy all that you need to do is basically run up like this and you want to position yourself kind of like this like in the middle of these two tiles and then you just want to run up and then strafe into the window so that you're not hitting your head and then what a lot of people get wrong is that they either jump jump too late or jump too early if you're going to jump too early you're going to just hit your head and you're going to fall into mid and if you're jumping too late you're obviously not going to jump and you're just going to fall off this is going to require a little bit of practice but once you get it down it's pretty easy so if you do it in one fluid motion it's going to look something like this and then you're up here you can obviously also pair this with vent hopping which will catch your opponents off guard like crazy if you're running up like this and then you're hitting your vent hop and then you're jumping onto the the thing here and then you're hitting the jump like you're you're so fast you're a speed demon like no one's gonna see that coming obviously you can't spam it every round but it's pretty crazy and also pretty flashy and you're gonna surprise your teammates if they're spectating you this is also very useful if you're a ct and you're in a post plan situation let's say you're in a 2v2v4 and your teammate is b abs or you're in a 1v4 situation and someone's already deep in market and they're holding the vent right here you can go for a quick peek maybe kill them and if you get them, they're going to expect you to come from kitchen because people, especially in lower elos, are not going to uh, to expect a jump from uh, from window to to cat. You can kill someone right here with a quick peek and then go for the jump, right? And then you can quickly get onto cat. And like, if they don't have someone here, even if they have someone here, they're not going to expect it. And you can quickly peek and maybe pick someone off that's playing bench right here, and it's very useful. You can also do this from here to here which is also the same same thing as before once you get this down this becomes pretty easy as well you basically just want to do this and then you're in here and you're up in the ladder room and you can go for a peek like this and surprise them very cool one thing that might make this a little bit easier is that when you jump on here you're not holding w to like walk around and then jump like that because that's kind of a weird motion so what i do is i i go like this and then i'm straving with w and a so i'm holding w and a so that i i don't i don't get a turn like that i can just simply turn like that and i'm getting a straight and then i'm jumping off that kind of makes it easier for me you can also see it on the keyboard overlay i'm fucking it up right now but um i should get it now yep and if you're if you're a cool swaggy movement player you can actually b hop off of this and then b hop right here and then just keep b hopping and then i don't know do something cool and get a kill if you've done this in a match like uh, window to cat like that and they're expecting it you can also do it that way and they might not see it coming with that being said i think that's it for today's video thank you all so much for watching make sure to leave a like and a sub if you want more of this type of content and i'll catch you in the next one peace out bye